What's up everyone, how's it going? In this video, we will be taking a look at the best disc cleaners for Windows. Now, I'm not actually going to put the disc cleaners into any particular order, so it's up to you to decide which disc cleaner you feel is the best. Now, to start off with, the first cleaner that we're actually going to take a look at is the one that comes built into Windows, and it's quite limited, but it does have a lot of the default Windows temporary locations you can clear very easily, and that's Windows Disk Cleanup. So to start off with, you get to select the drive that you want to clean up. So as you can see, I want to clean up my C drive. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. So like I said, it's very limited, but there are a few different locations there that you can clear. And you can then also view the files as well by clicking on view files and you can go on to clean up system files and it will then display a few more locations as you can see of what you can clear. Also you do have a more options tab which then has um, the programs and features that you can clean up and then also the system restore and shadow copies. So that's Windows Disk Cleanup. You can easily find that by opening up the start menu and then just searching for disk cleanup. Next up, we have Easy System Utility. Now, if you don't already know, this is a program that I developed myself. And again, it has all the default sort of locations that you can clear within Windows. And then it also has the software option, which obviously Windows Disk Cleanup doesn't have. Alongside of that, you do then also have other things that you can do within the program, such as unlocking files, changing image sizes, and renaming folders. Also on the very end, you have large folders, where you can quickly and easily permanently delete large folders, as sometimes these can take a long time to remove. You then also have a repair option, and then there's some Pro Tools, but that's going a bit off subject, as we're just basically focusing on the clean option. So as you can see here at the moment, software, I need to add more software. So at the moment it is a little bit limited, um, but there is a great deal of software there. And then Windows, like I said, it's got all the default locations. On the right hand side, you can choose to shut down the PC after a clean and you can analyze and then clean. On the settings, you can easily here change automatic clean and you can choose when you want a cleanup to run but you do need to have the pro version for that to work. And that also includes cleaning on Windows Startup. A pro version is required. Next up, we have BleachBit. Now, the good thing about BleachBit, you can actually either choose to install it to your computer or you can download a portable version where there's no installation required. Now, the thing that's a little bit annoying about BleachBit, I do find it can take a while to load up on your computer. So you will find that if you open it up, it might take a long time. So on the left hand side, pretty similar to all disk cleaners, we have Brave as you can see. So we've got locations that we can clear. So at the top we've got Brave, you can then do a deep scan. You've got Discord, Firefox, Google Chrome. And if we go further down, you've then got System. So again, you've got all the default sort of locations there for Windows that you can clear. You can see we've got prefetch, recycle bin, and temporary files. And then at the bottom here, we've got a few more options as well. Along the top here, we can select preview. So if I was to select memory dumps and go preview, you can see the location of where the memory dumps are. Again, normally that's called analyze, but for bleach bit, it's called preview. You can then click on clean, and if you really want to, you can actually abort the cleaning process, which is quite a nice little button there, which again, a few cleaners offer that. Myself, I've not actually put that into Easy System Utility yet, but it is something that I will do in the future. So if we click on the top left-hand corner icon here as well, we've got shred files, shred folders, shred paths from clipboard, white free space, and then if we actually go onto preferences, you can see here, there's quite a lot of preferences. So we've got loads of different settings there that we can change. If we go across to custom, we can select a custom location to delete. If we go across to drives, you can see there we've got all our drives, so the drives that is detected on my computer, and then we've got the whitelist. So that's Bleach Bit. Let's move on to the next disk cleaner. 
Alrighty, so next up we have System Ninja. Now System Ninja, again, it offers a installation version and the portable version though, I believe you do need the pro version to be able to use that. So we got first up is Chunk Scanner. So quite simple again, over on the right hand side here, we've got all the locations, but unlike some of the other cleaners, what System Ninja does, so let's just go on to memory dumps and go scan for junk. It actually allows you to scan all the drives and you can go scan and you can see at the bottom here is scanning thousands of files. So scanning all the files on your system. So System Ninja can actually take quite a long time to actually find files that you can delete. But once it does find the file, so you can see there it's going mad, it will find a lot. So straight away you can see it's found Brave, Bluestacks, Ubisoft, Steam. But obviously Bleachbear and my program is System Utility, you can actually select software separately. Obviously and then that will save time. So it depends if you want to have a cleaner that scans your whole system automatically for you or if you want to manually select locations. So along the top we've then got system tools. If we go into here we've got a startup manager, an app uninstaller, we've got a process manager, a duplicate finder. So if I select that, which is lagging, there we go. You can see there we've got a few different options and then we've also got additional tools. So here you can add on plugins, which you can download via System Ninja's website. And then you can also see on the far right here, we've got options. And again, we've got loads of different settings here. We've got scan exclusions, scan inclusions, and you can see on the right hand side here, we've got a few different options. So that's System Ninja, very nice little um, cleaning utility there. I will also pop all the links in the description below. Um, once you decide which disk cleaner you want to use, you can check them out by clicking on the links that are in the description below. Next up, we've got Privisar. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but that's what I'm going to call it. So when you first launch up the program, you're going to end up with a window that looks like this. So it's a bit more forward about updating to Pro, but what I want to do is just go to the main menu. So I'm then going to click on Next. So you are now going to see a new window that looks like this. So it's not as straightforward as some of the other disk cleaners I find, but obviously it's still usable. So on the left hand side here, we've got Scan in Depth. So you can see there we can choose the drive that we want to scan and stuff. We've also got scan specific traces. So you can see there we've got internet activities, we've got software use, we've got registry. We can then go delete without a trace. So we've got sensitive files, we can also empty the recycle bin and apparently that's going to be without a trace. So again, we've got options like the other programs, but this is actually the portable version, so it's not going to have settings. So that's another good thing about this program. You can choose to install it to your computer, or you can choose to use a portable version. So I'm just actually going to go back, so let's go cancel. If we then go on to advanced options, you can see here we've got many different settings that we can configure. So we've got general, we've got cleanup, We've got our memory and then we've got cookies. And again, we've got include and exclude files and folders to clear. And then also at the top, you also have basic user. So you can actually change it to a advanced user if you want to. So that does bring me to the end of this video. You might be wondering why I haven't mentioned some of the other disk cleaners that are available on the internet. And that's because I find those programs, they charge a lot of money to use them when there are great alternatives available online for a lot cheaper price. And also you would be helping out obviously single developers or just a small team of developers. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button.